Parkway at this point. It's given a couple more units down here to Anderson Parkway. That's a big rock. I've got a mail that's pulled a screwdriver on several people. Okay, okay, 6.20 requesting additional units down the parkway. 6.20 shots fired. On the evening of July 3rd, 2019, a 39-year-old native man named Stonechild Chiefstick was attending a 4th of July festival at a waterfront park in Paulsbow, Washington. After receiving reports that Chiefstick had threatened someone with a screwdriver, Paulsbow police officer Craig Keller, along with three other officers, moved to engage. Wait. Wait. Get your hand out of your pocket. Hey, chill out, chill out. Officer Keller fired two shots, striking Chief Stick in the face and chest. He would be pronounced dead 40 minutes later. The entire encounter lasted approximately 10 seconds. The investigation that followed blatantly favored police officers, and it reversed the roles of suspect and victim to achieve the good faith standard an officer needs for using deadly force. At approximately 9.18 p.m., a woman made a report to community service officer San Gill, claiming a man had just threatened her friend with a screwdriver. And it was just kind of like, the first thing I was like talking to my friend, and then he just kind of like went like, like this. And I didn't see him pull a weapon. He told me that he did pull a screwdriver out of his pocket. Okay. You, did, you, just, like you, didn't, you didn't see it though? I didn't see it okay. because I kind of like... CSO San Gill reported this to Paulsbo police officer Craig Keller, who radioed for backup in responding to this complaint. X-ray, 620. Get a couple more units down here to Anderson Parkway. That's a big rock. I've got a male that's pulled a screwdriver on several people. Detective Lee Wheeler and Reserve Officer David Lom responded. Together, the four officers converged on Chief Stick. 620, shots fired. 620, shots fired. The homicide investigation was undertaken by the Kitsap Critical Incident Response Team, or KCERT. The team would work with several local law enforcement agencies to reconstruct the events leading up to the death of Stonechild Chiefstick. Leading the investigation was the KCSO's most junior detective, Krista Kleinfelder, who had taken a basic homicide investigation course less than a year earlier. Since December 2018, she had been the lead detective in just seven death investigations. In only one of these cases, was an arrest made. Detective Kleinfelder summarized the incident with, Officer Keller fired his duty weapon. A typical homicide case involves an attempt to find evidence of a suspect's guilt. This investigation, however, was geared toward a finding of innocence or self-defense for fellow officers. To do this, Detective Kleinfelder focused the case cert investigation on the victim, Stonechild Chiefstick. This is apparent in how Detective Kleinfelder addresses the parties involved. The suspect in this case, Officer Keller, referred to as an unnamed Paulsbow police officer, or Officer Keller. Instead of using the word victim, Chief Stick is referred to by his first name, Stonechild. Included in the case file was a history of Chief Stick's involvement in other criminal cases, such as an old shoplifting charge. And Chief Stick's movements throughout the day were exhaustively detailed. Investigators spent an entire day looking through security footage from a nearby Walmart, where Chief Stick had been hours before the incident. There has been no investigation of the suspect, Officer Keller's movements, on the day of the shooting. Almost two weeks after the incident, Officers Lam and Sangil, along with their attorney, presented written statements. They were asked clarifying questions by Detective Kleinfelder. With legal guidance, the officer's statements were edited and resubmitted. Kleinfelder allowed the officer's lawyer to keep the original statements, thereby removing them from the record. Detective Wheeler provided his statement to Detective Kleinfelder two days later. The two detectives had worked together for a number of years with the Kitsap County Sheriff's Office. Current Washington law states conflicts of interest like this one must be recorded as part of the investigation. After two months of inactivity, Detective Kleinfelder bolstered the defense. 
She included several articles referencing unrelated incidents of screwdriver assault in Washington State. There is no indication Officer Keller had knowledge of these incidents on July 3, 2019. Detective Kleinfelder also referenced an academic paper by a South Carolina law professor that initially downplays the value of body-worn cameras, though he ultimately concluded that body-worn cameras, in some cases, may provide information that simply isn't available otherwise. Officer Keller's body cam fell off his vest during first contact with the victim. The body cam was an Axon Body 2 type camera. Officer Keller routinely used the magnet mount, which he had been wearing during the incident on July 3, 2019. There have been other reports of these cameras falling off during physical altercations, most notably an incident within the Paulsbo Police Department. In 2018, a Paulsbo police officer attempted to arrest a suspect. His body camera was knocked off during the struggle. That officer was the same officer, Craig Keller. Using the information the body cam did capture, it is clear the three officer statements have inaccuracies. Officer San Gill stated he gave commands that were not captured on video. Hand out of your pocket. Hey, chill out, chill out. Hey. Detective Wheeler and Officer San Gill heard multiple loud, clear verbal commands. Though, again, none were captured on video. Reserve Officer Lom stated he did not take out his taser. However, the footage clearly shows him removing his taser from its holster. All three officers recited the standard, I feared for my life defense. However, their actions and statements give a more accurate assessment of the situation. Officer Sangel drew his taser. Officer Lom did not draw his pistol because of the proximity of many citizens around us. And Detective Wheeler says citizens didn't even react. The body cam does show that Officer Keller, instead of maintaining a safe distance, rushed Chief Stick while shouting a single command, amongst other conflicting commands, and one second later, fired two shots. In November of 2018, nearly five months after the incident, the investigation was presented to Kitsap County Prosecutor Chad Enright. After reviewing the case files, he decided more investigation was warranted. Further investigation revealed there was one other officer wearing a body camera at the time, Officer David Lom. It has been confirmed he did not activate his camera on the day of the shooting. During the initial investigation, Detective Kleinfelder wrote, A review of police contacts with Chief Stick did not show any prior history between them before the night of July 3, 2019. However, further investigation revealed Officer Keller had on at least one occasion run Chief Stick's name through the system. According to the case files, there has been no further investigation into this incident. Officer Keller, through his attorney, offered a brief statement claiming, the actions of Mr. Chiefstick were totally unprovoked. The incident on July 3, 2019 was a tragic combination of miscommunication and poor training. The officers knew Chiefstick was carrying a screwdriver. Apparently the original uh, traffic was a male that was pulling a screw, pulled a screwdriver on several subjects. Yet there was no discussion of tactics on how to approach Chiefstick. They simply charged in. There was confusion on where the incident was transpiring. Although they were in uniform, the officers never identified themselves as police. Chief Stick was not looking at them at the time they grabbed his arms. Officers never gave clear commands. There were multiple officers shouting conflicting instructions. Chief Stick had less than two seconds to comply with Officer Keller's commands. Chief Stick was handcuffed for approximately 20 minutes while EMTs attempted CPR. Records from 2009 to 2019 state that Officer Keller completed a total of 30 minutes of training in preventing biased policing. CSO San Gill, Reserve Officer Lom, and Detective Wheeler gauge the situation differently. This is evident by them drawing their tasers, or in Detective Wheeler's case, not drawing a weapon at all. At every turn, Officer Keller escalated the situation, from surprising the victim, to going hands-on at initial contact, to drawing his firearm, charging Chief Stick, and firing the fatal shots. 
On a Friday morning nearly nine months after the incident, Kitsap County Prosecutor Chad Enright quietly closed the books on the investigation, declining to file charges in this case. The next Wednesday, Officer Keller went back to work with the Paulsbo PD, 